Kia ora, Mr. Speaker. Carmel Sepuloni. Kia ora, Mr. Speaker. Oops. Oops. Um, Mr. Speaker, it's a privilege for me to stand and speak to this bill. Um, just a couple of months ago, I was in Waitara with my colleague, the MP for Te Tai Hauru, Adrian Rudafe, and our Labour leader, Andrew Little. And we were walking up the road and actually ran into a um, former teacher of one of the schools I went to. Her name was Mrs Kearns. And um, during that visit, Mrs Kearns said to me, we want to see you stand up and speak to bills about Waitara Carmel. Um, and Andrew Little and I think Adrian heard that. So here I am tonight speaking um, to a bill on Waitara. And I do so, Mr Speaker, in relation to this bill with some trepidation as I am fully aware of the tensions and competing interests in relation to this bill. I did have the privilege of being born and raised in Waitara, Mr Speaker. I'm not Māori, I'm Samoan Tongan, New Zealand European, uh, but with teachers like Tiri Bailey, uh, Hone Niwa, uh, Fero Bailey uh, and also um, Te Kauhoe Wano, who unfortunately has passed away, I did grow up with many insights into the history of Waitara, the atrocities that, has been, that have been inflicted on the mana whenua of Waitara, the illegal and mass confiscation of land, Mr Speaker, um, and the impact that those atrocities have had on the generations that follow. Much of that history and those atrocities and the impact of them have been understated in our history books, Mr Speaker. And I think that is the starting point for me speaking on this bill tonight. So it is of no surprise to me that tensions have arisen with respect to this bill um, and with respect to what it proposes. I think it's important to reflect on what the bill is attempting to do um, before I go into some of the reservations that I do have, Mr Speaker. So in brief, land was confiscated by the Crown from Waitara Hapu in 1865. Those confiscations, Mr Speaker, were illegal. In 1876, the Crown vested land in the Waitara Harbour Board and the Raleigh Town Board for harbour improvement and municipal development. During the next 70 years, further land was vested in the New Plymouth District Council's predecessors for, their, for those purposes. As a consequence of a series of local government amalgamations, the land is now vested in New Plymouth District Council. For some time, issues surrounding the Council-owned land at Waitara has been, the, the issue has been divisive for the Waitara community. Some leaseholders have sought to freehold the land and Te Atioa has argued for the return of the land. The Council has argued that existing statutory restrictions that affect the Waitara endowment land are outda outdated and restrict the ability of the Council to use the land and any income derived from it. This bill would remove those statutory restrictions and enable rental and sales proceeds to be used for the wider benefit of the Waitara community. The bill would provide leasees the option to buy their leasehold property from the Council. Now, that history was an overly simplistic version of events, but in the five minutes I have to speak about this bill, I'm unfortunately unable to do the history justice. Just last week, the New Plymouth District Council and Taranaki Regional Council met with us, members of our caucus, to provide a very thorough briefing on this issue, and I acknowledge them for that. I acknowledge those who have worked on this issue, some for decades. I also acknowledge tonight that we do have councillors here, Craig McFarlane and Colin Johnson, Colin Johnston, and we also have the Mayor of New Plymouth, Andrew Judd, um, who is absolutely passionate about this issue as well. Mr Speaker, as my colleague has said, we are supporting this bill to select committee, but there is no guarantee at this stage that we will select it the whole way through. We are absolutely aware of the um, competing interests here. We are absolutely aware of some of the individuals that have stepped up from the hapu in Waitara, um, Mr Speaker, and we need to take all of those voices into consideration. Some who are big critics of this particular bill and what it's attempting to do might question why we in the House are even supporting it to select committee. But Mr Speaker, I think it's important, and my colleagues on this side of the House yeah, believe it is important, it's that we, we hear from all of the stakeholders, we hear from the leaseholders, we hear from the community of Waitara, we hear from the very people um, that come from the hapu of Manukurihi and Otarawa, Mr Speaker. And we can only hear from them on this issue if we allow this to go to a select committee. I do believe that this is not one of those issues that will be used as a political football in this House and that we all have the best intentions here to work towards a good result for Waitara, for the hapu in Waitara, for all those that are affected by this. 
um, in Waitara. And so we work together in good faith. I do acknowledge my colleague and the MP for Te Tai Hauru, who was our lead on the side of the House for this, um, and absolutely acknowledge just the fact that he has his head around the detail on this and will continue to lead us with respect to this issue, uh, Mr Speaker. Um, so, Mr Speaker, we will support this to select committee and then we, we look forward to receiving the submissions from the many different groups that have a vested interest in what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Kia ora.